Hey guys, sorry about the uh, hiatus. It was my 40th birthday, so I took a couple of weeks off. But I'm back, and we're going to be going over a firm favourite today, actually, voice flow. A few things have changed since the last video, and a lot of you in the comments section, thank you for bringing it to my attention, were having issues with the tutorial uh, where the API was causing lots and lots of issues. But thankfully, this new workflow we're going to demo today has resolved this. So today we're going to go over the new variables, which kind of change everything within the uh, workflow system. Credits and prompt chaining. Yes, prompt chaining is now a new thing within VoiceFlow, um, thanks to these variables we just mentioned. So we're going to dive in and show you what this does. Just a heads up, if you don't have an account, it is free um, forever. And that gives you two assistants and one editor, which is plenty. Uh, the only difference between the paid and the starter, from what I can tell, is that you can just have more assistants, which is basically more bots. But if you're happy with two, that is fine. Uh, the kind folks at VoiceFlow actually did upgrade my account, so now I can play with a lot more tutorials and uh, demos to share with you guys in the background. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's sign in. So let's do a new assistant and let's call that, I don't know, plop. Why not? And we're going to, let's, let's going to make this um, an Alexa app. So we're going to launch and host, click to continue. So that will be Alexa. By the way, uh, people in the comments were also asking whether this is possible to do with uh, Google Home. I don't have a Google Home. Can you say that again? Thank you, Alexa. Uh, I don't have a Google Home. Okay, I don't have a Google Home, uh, but unfortunately, after a bit of research, they are removing the ability for users to upload their own custom skills. So yes, this is possible, but not for long. Um, so it's not really worth going down that rabbit hole because they're gonna remove the ability. So change Amazon to Alexa, locals, I'm in the UK, but I like the US voices actually. And let's jump in, create assistant. All right, so first thing we need to do here is get rid of the welcome. You know what we're doing. Head over to settings. Then we're going to want to change navigation to mouse because it is a lot, lot easier. And we want to turn on the AI. So this is done by signing your life away here and signing your life away here. And then we want to change the voice. Let's change to Matthew. I like Matthew. And that's pretty much everything. Okay, so let's start creating a voice bot. So now we have the AI section open, which previously it wasn't there. I should have pointed that out. And let's drag in a block. So now we have a new setting. I think this was just created this week where we can actually choose the kind of GPT version that we want. Um, it's, we're going for the Goldilocks effect. So GPT-4 is more expensive and it's slower, but and GPT-3 is older. Um, but cheaper, <laughs> so 3.5, perfect. Um, and the good thing about this is now we get to say a persona. So if any of you have used the kind of GPT 3.5 API, you, you know what the kind of like this system variable is. So this is basically saying, okay, you are a happy, friendly chatbot or you work in, in Bob's Fish and Chip Shop. So we are giving the persona to the AI for their response uh, to come out as if that makes sense. So let's give this block a name, persona. No, we don't need to do personas anymore. It used to be a thing where you used to have to save a persona as a variable and then call back to it, but this just eliminates that need. Welcome the user. You are a chat for this YouTube channel about AI for prompt news. And then we can preview that to see what the response would be. Good. All right. Another thing, though, is that is a bit, little bit long winded. So we want to turn max tokens down to let's try 50 and do preview. Much better. Hello, welcome from news or YouTube. Fantastic. OK, so next step is we want the. Oh, actually, before I go any further, if we click on the arrow, click here and then click all assistant variables, and uh, we get this little section here. We have two new variables. So we've got last response, which is basically, it's the, it saves 
the last thing that the robot said. I always confuse the two. I'm going to go back on myself in a second, I'm sure of it. And last utterance is the last thing that the human said. I think. We're going to see in a second. Uh, so last response to last utterance. These are key to how the prompt chaining is going to work because now we're going to have the AI reflecting on what was just said prior. Okay, so now we need to speak, no, sorry, listen, listen and capture. So whereas previously we were saving this to a variable, we don't really need to do that anymore. It, it saves already to the last utterance. So we can, that's it, that's all we need to do. And now let's do res response. Okay, so we want to give him the same persona. Change that to 3.5 and prompt. Okay, so we want to listen and then bring it down to this block. And then we want, to, we don't want to welcome the user again. We just want to listen again. So we're going to skip that welcome part. So this is the prompt chaining. So now we're just in a loop. Uh, let's give that a try. Um, start. Hello. Welcome to Prompt News, the YouTube channel all about artificial intelligence. How may I assist you today? I want to build a robot. That is great. We have many video tutorials on our channel that will help you with your project. Hey. Before I can help you further, may I ask what sparked your interest in robotics? What happened to Matthew? <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll stick with the girl for now. Uh, I've always liked robotics. That is great. What do you like most about robotics? I quite like Robot Wars. My son loves Robot Wars. Oh, that no. is wonderful. Building robots is a great way to explore your creativity and learn some new skills. What kind of robots are you interested in building? Massive destroying robots. Wow. That sounds like a great project. Building robots can be a fun and challenging experience. Are you looking for resources to help you build that type of robot? Okay, so we're just going around in circles here, quite literally. Sorry, I'm away. Uh, so actually, I could change the voice here. So here, if we go to English US and change it to Matthew. There we go. Um, we have an identification problem. <laughs> All right, so that is prompt chaining. And that is the two new variables. How can we use this? Well, we have also things called intents. So uh, intents, intents, <laughs> that sounds intense. Um, so let's create a new intent, drag it over. Uh, you, you can make these all kind of nicely organized and stuff, but we're just doing this for a demo. And uh, let's do a create a new intent and that will be order. So if a customer wants to order, it will jump out of that loop and come over here. So I, want to order please can i order so these are things the customer might say uh so what we can do now is generate these rats so rather than racking our brains let's create 20. the ai will write 20 possible order intent phrases for us oh, i struggled with that uh let, let me buy something i'm interested okay good create intent now let's get another AI and what would you like to order? Order order. And let's make it our Matthew again. <clears throat> Actually, you're a sales bot now. He's a sales bot. And uh Okay, yeah, for the sake of the demo, he doesn't need to listen to us, that's fine. Oh, we actually, we could. Um, we, we could do another. No, it's okay. We're, we're going to stick with the guns here. What we need to do, though, we need to train it. Uh, so, so it understands the intents. We have to hop over the training and hit train Alexa skill and wait a few minutes. While we're waiting for that, actually, uh, the credit system, they've now reduced the price of the credits a lot. So initially, I was using the API to make calls because... Obviously, the credits that were being used were just going through super quick and running out. So this new system uh, is a lot cheaper. I've been using it for 
well, quite a while now, <laughs> the whole, whole week solidly, and I've only made 870 calls. So yeah, so we did away with the API system, not needed because oh, the credits, credits are fine, they're cheaper, they're affordable, they're free. Okay, it looks like that's done. Uh, so our training is complete, 100% trained, all good. Now let's run a test. Hello, welcome to Prompt News, the YouTube channel dedicated to all things related to artificial intelligence. How may I assist you today? By the way, this is set as global. So in theory, anywhere I am within the chat, if it hears the intent, it will take me over there. I'm fine. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm here to help you learn more oh, about Matthew, things related what's wrong to with your voice again? intelligence. Could you tell me what you're looking for? I'm looking for fish. I'm sorry. I don't have information about okay, so fish. So we're still here. Could you tell me what you're looking for regarding artificial intelligence? I would like to place an order. There we go. I apologize if my previous message was unclear. As a sales bot, I am here to offer information about a YouTube channel called Prompt News, which focuses on AI news and developments. Would you be interested in learning more about the channel and its content? Okay, so that was a bit long-winded, but uh, yeah, you, you get the principle. So this is what I've been playing with recently, and I plan to make some really cool features and functions with this, uh, especially when you hook it up to APIs or export things, um, JSON files, etc. Um, the possibilities are endless. I, I've even started making like a Dungeons & Dragons game to be continued. So yeah, in a nutshell, that was pretty much what I wanted to show. Uh, voice flow is coming along super well. It's, I'm hyped about how this is uh, developing uh, and at what pace. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be visiting this quite a bit, I think, in the coming months. So anyway, um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Everything else, by the way, for like publishing to Alexa is exactly the same. Just hit publish uh, and then you can save it to your home group. Alexa home group, obviously not Google. Um, and you're good to go. Anyway, I, I've got a dash. I hope you're well. Uh, and I promise I won't make such a large hiatus again. Uh, take care. Alex out. Bye.